Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So this is the last and final video on Poisson distribution. So far, seven problems I have completed in the last two videos. I have explained you how to find out the probability of our successes by applying the Poisson distribution. So Poisson distribution will be applied whenever the value of n is large and p is very small. The Poisson is a limiting factor of binomial distribution. So whenever binomial distribution will become time consuming, tedious, then we apply Poisson distribution. For rare events, that means the probability of success is very very small, where the number of values are very large. So now, in this eighth problem, I'm going to explain you how to find out the expected frequencies according to Poisson distribution. E of R. So these last three problems, 8, 9 and 10 are very important from examination point of view. So watch the video till the end, don't skip in between. So if you want the perfect knowledge, watch all the videos, first the theory video, then other problems video. So if you have not watched, I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject statistics for management. Select the videos of Poisson distribution. Be clear regarding the theory and then you start the problems. So before starting the explanation of this eighth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the solution of the eighth and ninth problem. Then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, see the eighth problem. <clears throat> Fit a Poisson distribution to the following data. So here the data is given number of mistakes per page, zero mistake, one, zero, one, zero, 109 pages. Number of pages on which mistake occurred. That means there is a book which contains totally 200 pages. In those 200 pages, 109 pages are there on which no mistake on any page. Zero mistake on each page. Zero mistake on each page. So how many pages? One not time. One page, one mistake on each page. This 65 pages. Two mistakes on each page. 30, uh, 22 pages. Three mistakes on each page. Three pages are there. And four mistakes are there on a page. Only one page was there. So in the whole book of 200 pages, we are given how many mistakes are there per page, right? From this data, from these actual observed frequencies, we have to find out the expected frequencies according to Poisson distribution. First of all, fitting a Poisson distribution, first column, number of mistakes per page, we denote it as X. Number of pages on which mistakes occurred, this will take it as F. Now you multiply X into F, FX. F into X, FX. Now in the problem 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 given 109, 65, 22, 3, 1, these are the actual frequencies given in the problem. N is equal to 200. Now F into X, FX, 0, 65, multiply 0 into 109, 0, 1 into 65, 65, 2 into 4, 22, 44, 3, 3 is a 9, 4, 1 is a 4. The total of FX is 122. Now this is the actual frequency given. Now we can calculate the mean value statistical formula. The mean X bar is equal to summation Fx by N. This is the summation Fx. 122 divided by 200, you will get 0 0.61. This is the mean value. I mean, mean means average mistake per page. On an average mistake per page is 0 0.61. So M is equal to 0 0.61 e to the power of minus m, e to the power of minus 0 0.61. So you have to refer the table. This table again I have provided in the link under my description or else in any textbook you will find the Poisson distribution table. So we want e to the power of minus 0 0.61. So first table, the first large table is for fractions and small table is for whole numbers. When m is in whole number, c refer the small table. When m is in fraction, refer the large table. 
तो इन रो 0.6 अंडर कॉलम वन तो 0.6 अंडर वन यू विल फाइंड 0.5434 0.5434 सो हियर आई हैव टेकन 0.5434 दिस इज e टू द पावर माइनस 0.61 नो अकॉर्डिंग टू पॉइजन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लॉ प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ आर सक्सेसेस p of r is e to the power of minus m into m to the power of r by r factorial in the last so many problems we have applied this now the values of p of 0 in this formula in place of r we have to substitute 0 then 1 2 3 4 we have to find out p of 0 p of 1 p of 2 p of 3 p of 4 so individually we can calculate every time we have to apply the formula and calculate and the alternative shortcut method is if we want in sequence p of 0 p of 1 p of 2 p of 3 p of 4 in sequence we need so we apply this shortcut method whether you substitute in the formula or you apply the shortcut method you will get the same answer so this shortcut method can be applied when we want the probability in sequence whereas if you want only once you have to apply the formula right now the values of p of p of 0 p of 1 p of 2 p of 3 can be calculated as follows p of 0 is equal to e to the power of minus m so whether you directly find out or you apply the formula you will get the same answer so p of 0 is e to the power of minus m e to the power of minus 0.61 already we have referred 0.5434 now p of 1 so how to find out p of 1 p of 0 into m by 1 whatever in bracket you have that you take it in denominator so p of 0 into m by 1 p of 0 is 0.5434 into m m is 0.61 0.61 by 1 you will get 0.3314 now we need p of 2 p of 2 is equal to p of 1 already we have calculated p of 1 0.3314 into m by 2 whatever in bracket is there the same thing in denominator 0.61 by 2 0.1011 we got p of 2 now p of 3 is equal to p of 2 into m by 3 here bracket 3 denominator 3 so p of 2 is 0.331 uh, sorry 0.1011 into 0.61 by 3 0.0206 now p of 4 is equal to p of 3 into m by 4 How much is p of three point zero two zero six into m by four point six one by four? We'll get point double zero three one. So individually, we got all the values p of zero, p of one, p of two, p of three, p of four. Finally, we need expected frequency e of r. So e of r is equal to n into p of r. How much is the n value? Two hundred. So we multiply two hundred into p of r. So expected frequency table. First column x column x here zero one two three four. Now e of r is equal to two hundred into p of r. So e of zero in place of r I am taking zero. E of zero is equal to two hundred into p of zero. P of zero already we have calculated point five four three four. So two hundred into point five four three four you will get one not nine. I have rounded off. It is a fraction, but after rounding off we got one not nine. Similarly e of one. Expected frequency of one is equal to two hundred into p of one. Two hundred into p of one is point three three one four. So if you multiply two hundred into point three three one four sixty six. Now e of two two hundred into p of two p of two is point one zero one one. You get twenty. E of three is equal to two hundred into p of three p of three is point zero two zero six. You get four. E of four is equal to two hundred into p of four p of four is point double zero three one. You'll get one. Now, if you add up the expected frequency, you must get two hundred. The total of actual frequency and the total of expected frequency both must be same. Here, actual frequency two hundred. Now, we got the expected frequency two hundred. That's it. This is the problem called fitting of Poisson distribution. Fitting a Poisson distribution by calculating expected frequency. That's all. this type of problems will be frequently asked in examination now next question ninth problem problem number 9 the following table gives the number of days 
in a hundred days period during which automobile accidents occurred in a city. The number of accidents zero, number of days 40. So we have evaluated a hundred days period to find out how many accidents took place each day. So out of hundred days, 40 days are there on which no accident took place on any day. Then 35 days are there in which one accident took place. Every day one accident. How many days? 35 days. 15 days are there in which every day two accidents. And 6 days are there in which every day three accidents. And 4 days out of 100 days, 4 days are there in which every day four accidents. This is the actual frequencies given. Fit a Poisson distribution to the data. To this given distribution, actual distribution, we have to find out the expected distribution. Expected frequency as per Poisson, just like the previous one. First of all, we have to calculate the mean value, fx by n. So fitting a Poisson distribution, number of accidents, x, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Number of days, f, 40, 35, 15, 6, 4. This is actually given in the problem. If you take the total, you will get 100. So these two columns are given in the problem. Now we have opened one more column fx, f into x, 40 into 0, 0, 35 into 1, 35, 15 into 2, 30, 6 into 3, 18, 4 into 4, 16. Take the total, you will get 99. Now mean value, x bar is equal to summation fx by 99 by 100, 0.99. So on an average, average accident per day comes to 0 0.99. So m is equal to 0 0.99. e to the power of minus m, e to the power of minus 0 0.99, 0 0.3716. How did you get this one? A ref of the table. Again, m value is in fraction. So first table, the big table, 0 0.9 in the row of 0 0.9 under the column 9. Row 0 0.9 under the column 9, you will find 0 0.3716. 0 0.3716. So here 0 0.3716. Now, as usual, in this way, shortcut method we apply to calculate P of 0, P of 1, P of 2, P of 3, P of 4. Right? P of 0 is simply e to the power of minus 7 e to the power of minus 0 0.99 already we got it 0 0.3716 now p of 1 p of 0 into m by 1 p of 0 is 0 0.3716 into m m is 0 0.99 0 0.99 by 1 0 0.3679 now p of 2 is equal to p of 1 into m by 2 that is 0 0.3679 into 0 0.99 by 2 0 0.1821 this is point two, uh, P of 2. Now P of 3 is P of 2 into M by 3. So P of 2 is 0.1821 into 0.99 by 3. We will get 0 0.0601. Lastly P of 4 is equal to P of 3 into M by 4. P of 3 into M by 4. P of 3 is 0 0.0601 into 0 0.99 by 4. 0 0.0149. So individually we have calculated P of 0, P of 1, P of 2, P of 3, P of 4. Now we need expected frequency E of R. So E of R is equal to N into P of R. How much is the N value here? 100. N is 100. So 100 into P of R. Now expected frequency table. Number of accidents X 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Same thing I have taken. Now E of R. E of 0 is equal to 100 into P of 0. 100 into P of 0. P of 0 how much here? 0 0.3716. So 100 into 0 0.3716 you will get 37.16. So we will round it off. 37.16 rounded off to 37. So expected frequency 37. Right? Now second, similarly 1. E of 1. 100 into P of 1. P of 1 how much we got? 0 0.3679. 100 into 0 0.3679 36.79. Again, rounded off to 37. Next one is P of 2. So E of 2 is equal to 100 into P of 2. P of 2, how much? 0 0.1821. 100 into 0 0.1821. 18.21. Rounded off 18. E of 3. 100 into P of 3. So 100 into 0 0.0601. You will get 6. Last one, P of 4. E of 4 
is equal to 100 into P of 4. P, what is P of 4 here? 0 0.0149. So 1.49, I have rounded off to 2. Because the total we must get 100. That's it. So in this video, I have explained you the 8th and 9th problem. The last 10th problem is exactly similar to these two problems, 8th and 9th. So I am giving you this 10th problem as your practice problem. Do yourself. I am not going to explain in the next video. You have to do it yourself. The 10th problem. The distribution of typing mistake committed by a typist is given below. Assuming a Poisson model, find out the expected frequency. Mistake per page. This you take it as X. First column. Mistake per page. X. Then number of pages. You take it F. So X is given. F is given. Multiply FX. Find out FX. Apply the same procedure and find out the expected frequency that's all so totally 10 problems i have explained on poisson distribution actually in probability distribution we have three distributions uh, that is binomial distribution poisson distribution and normal distribution in the next video inshallah i will start the normal distribution which is a continuous probability distribution so if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video. Share my channel among your groups, among your friends, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. My subscription rate is very, very slow. Views are increasing. Viewers are increasing. But subscribers are slowly moving. So subscribe. Do subscribe my channel. And by the super thanks which is given below my video, inshallah we will start the normal distribution in the next video.